Welcome back to TechEdLearning.com where we'll be going over the third drawing block and we'll also be introducing the offset tool uh, used to make this drawing. Uh, you can see that there's a hole that goes all the way through here. So again, just like the last drawing, we're not going to be uh, I'm not going to be announcing the dimensions that are in here. You're going to have to look that up on the picture. Um, so I'm just going to zoom over here and we'll start from scratch. The first thing that I'm going to do is look at the picture and look at what size the overall square is and I'll start to draw that. I'll type in those dimensions. And the next thing I'm going to do is take and I'm going to pull this up uh, the height here and the offset tool is right here. It's got the two arcs. And that's a neat tool. Uh, notice what it does is when you hover over underneath uh, over a shape, it will turn that side uh, into these little dots. It means you're selecting it. And you can see what it does just by clicking and moving your finger back and forth. For this, we'll be using the top. And the offset is listed right on the drawing there. I just typed it in and hit Enter. And what it's doing is it's making lines that are equal distance from all these different edges here. Then I'm going to take my push-pull tool and I'm going to push it down. And if you try guessing where the bottom of this is, you're going to have a really hard time. This is where you're going to use what's called inferencing, where you're going to take your cursor and I'm going to inference it to this corner right here. I'll always try to or this corner and it'll snap to it and that's telling the inside where you're pushing it down to be level with this corner and when I let go this should disappear for you. If you still do have a surface here you can always just click on it and erase it and if you ever have a opening that you want to close again the easiest way to do that is to take your pencil tool and draw across it that makes it solid again and then just erase the line so now it's still solid. In this case, we want it open so you wouldn't have to do this. I'm just going to right click, erase, to get rid of that again. One part that's missing still here is this little uh, knob that's sticking out the side. So, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to run over here and use my tape measure tool. And from this edge, I'm going to draw a line and use your dimension sheet so you know how far this goes. And again, I'll do it this way. And then I'm going to take my rectangle tool, draw a rectangle there, and I'm going to pull it out the distance that it needs to go. So that completes my drawing. The next thing I'm going to do is erase those two dimension lines, or sorry, construction lines made by the tape measure. And then you need to place the um, dimensions on here. All right. Good luck.